What is up, Rocket Nation, and welcome back for episode number 45 of Horizon Zero Dawn. In episode number 44, we completed a side quest called A Daughter's Vengeance, in which a young girl watched as her father was butchered back in the Red Raids, during the Red Raids, and she swore that one day she would get her vengeance. And she set out for it, knowing that it would mean her exile from the Nora homeland. She set out eventually found a commander named Zaid, and uh i will leave the rest up to you guys if you guys want to go back and actually check that one out it was a pretty cool side quest we're gonna be picking up right where we left off today that was of course episode number 44 if you guys want to go back and watch it this is 45 let's jump right in as always if you guys enjoy the episode make sure you guys give it a thumbs up share it on your favorite social media platform so that others might enjoy it as well and if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live all you guys got to do is be sub to the channel and click the little bell notification icon deal as I push up my glasses. I'm ready. I'm ready for it today. All right, we're going to jump in. I did find another side quest uh, as I was actually starting to make my way up towards the next main quest area. Um, I'm going to open up the map and I'll give you guys a view of where we're at here. So I was starting to make my way up here. I was just going to come here. And uh, I was just going to, yeah, you know, like we would pick up the episode from right here. This is where we would have started today's episode and moved our way north. Not what's going to happen because I found this quest over here. So there is a new quest right down the way. I don't even know. Where are we? What is this place? Unflinching watch. We're at unflinching watch right now. And not one person's flinching. I can confirm. It lives up to the name. Not one person is flinched. Move along. Oh, Attitude. Um, but, but let's go down and let's see what this other quest down here is all about. Now, I was out uh, just going and collecting some wood. I was out looking for some wood when I actually found this. It looked as if somebody was laying down on the ground. I was probably about maybe 100 yards away from it. And I was like, oh, that's a new side quest. And it instantly turned around and went the other way. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty sure it's right along the river here, too. But I was sort of coasting up and down the river looking for uh, more wood because we need more wood. And of course, healing deals. We always need more healing deals. So uh, those are things that we're going to have to keep our eye out for. I do believe um, for one of our capacity things, do we not? Yeah, we need a goose skin too. We need a goose skin. That's going to have to happen. Is that a, that's not a goose skin. That is a Kirk. And that is our side quest, I do believe. Yeah, no geese out here. No geeses. All right, let's go uh, see what this is all about. Are you okay? You look all kinds of messed up. Did you roll your ankle? Find help. Easy now. What's your name? What happened? Hackard. Find help for Pitchcliff. The Glindorks keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it. Death from the skies. Pitchcliff, didn't we already do this quest? I thought we already did this quest. Didn't we already save Pitchcliff from the Glint Hawk attacks? Um, I don't know. This is okay. Well, we're going to do this. Um, <laughs> quest. New side quest, Death from the Skies. A border the border settlement of Pitchcliff is under attack by Glint Hawks. What could have caused such an assault? Go to Pitchcliff. I swear we already did this one. I swear it. I know who we did. <laughs> Am I the only one that feels like we've already done this? Um, yeah, okay. So we'll keep an eye out as we make our way. Nope, Pitchcliff is this way. Wrong way, rocket sauce. All right, um, yeah, we'll head this way and uh, see what we find. I swear we already did this, though. Hey. Any geese? I need a goose assist. Says we're like 900, yeah, need these. 900 foot deals away. That seems like a really long, long way. Um, you know what I think we're going to do? I think I'm going to break away now um, since there is no geese assist anywhere around here. 
I will break away. I will bring you guys back when we are uh, we've made up some of that 794 foot deals. I'll see you guys in a minute. Welcome back, Rocket Nation. And as you can see, we are very close to close to pitch cliff. And uh, this is a full on attack that we are watching right here. This is uh, actually insane. Uh, I think we better get in here and help the people out after I loot that. Also, I looked for many of Gisasis and I never found it in one. So, man, this is, it's going down. Grim talks. This must be pitch flip. That one's on the ground. Attack it. Take that. Critical hit. Get him down! Come on, land. Take your crit. Oh no, I'm standing in the stink of it. And loot. Everybody knows you gotta loot. How did that miss? Quit, quit moving? <gasps> There's one down right there. After it. What? I'm standing on it. <laughs> That's how you fight a glint hawk. You ride it. Oh, you're going down. Stab it. No, stab it. Okay, together, ride it. This guy learned! I taught him! Take shot. That one's dead. This one, however, is not. He wants to ride it too! Come on, fall or not, I guess. What are you doing? <laughs> you were supposed to fall. Got it. It's down. What made these Glintox attack? I better speak to whoever's in charge. All right. Well, that got exciting. Um, That was... Thank you. You're We're exhausted. It's the third flock we face today. Wow, third flock today? Can you imagine doing that like every couple of hours? Just a new flock of these giant glint hawks coming in to attack your town? And you have to defend them? Oh yeah, you know that these uh these warriors are are at their wits end right now. Let's go see what is going on. Maybe figure out what is happening. But uh it's really cool that they seen how I did it and they immediately picked up on it they were like whoa she rode that glint hawk and it made it way easier to kill and they were like i'll ride one too now they didn't have it quite perfected come on we need a goose skin they didn't have it quite perfected but it was a try i guess all right let's see what's going on here we're going up and around the back um no how do we get up there I hear emitting unidentified again. Where do people get these signal emitter deal things? I can't get up where that is. Uh, it's maybe a little help. Am I gonna, am I just taking this up? Um, Game? How do I get up there? <laughs> do we just keep going up? Oh, right here. Okay, okay. Sorry, field of view is a little tight. Or not. Um, all right, I guess we're gonna get a save in then instead. 
Where is the leader to Pitchcliff? Why are you pointing down there now? Listen, I just need your leader. Take me to your leader. And now it's pointing me up there again. Oh, there's a ladder right here. Super, totally obvious ladder right there. Um, Jesus, man. All right, looted. Oh, this is your leader? This guy looks silly. R Rallert. No wonder the Glint Hawks are attacking. They took one look at you and knew that this was easy prey. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where do you come from? A man named Hackard outside the village warned me. Traitor! I ordered him to stay put. I'll throw him in irons. He's dead. What? That scorched out, filthy, rotten, dirt wad of a brother. Why didn't he listen? Why? He was worried you and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glint Hawks? Okay, we're just not going to get an answer to that. <laughs> um, Glint Hawk? Lures? L lures. Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> okay. Glint Hawks? Has anything changed that might have lured the Glint Hawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap. Not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. <laughs> so the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never. If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Yeah, right you would. Um, Karja? Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glint Hawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glint Hawks? If I ever get a break from him, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. He might not be wrong. Um, your role in all this. What exactly do you do here? I'm the mayor. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Hmm. Tell me where he is, and I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hawks to flock off. <laughs> You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bung. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. It's like 900 foot deals down the river. A long way. You guys are going to have a minute to walk. Believe me, I just made the journey. Um, I'll investigate what's going on. Why don't I investigate why the Glint Hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel. A carge is behind all this. Yeah, you've already made that hypothesis clear. Um, all right. Investigate Pitchcliff. Well, we already know what we're looking for right there. Also, who's this guy? Shahavad? Shahavad. Let's go see what's up over here. Turn off! Turn off! Um. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing? <laughs> By the sun, it won't turn off. That device is making the Glint Hawks attack. Turn it off. Me? I don't know how to turn it off any more than I know how I turned it on. I scrounged it from an old workshop. Just hit it with things. That's how you fix them. Or unfix <sighs> them. Well, that should do it. Now start talking. Um, scrounging? Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands what? sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. 
I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. Oh, okay. Uh, workshop? You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment, the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world, as we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? Oh, no, I <laughs> didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Wow, this guy is a piece of work. Glint Hawks? Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glint Hawks? By the sun, no. I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. Oh, okay. Um, I need to find that workshop, and you're going to tell me. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the eastern ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. I hate this guy. <laughs> you just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess. I hate this guy. Everything about him. Uh <laughs> And I like them too at the same time. Like it's kind of the way I want to live my life. I'm not gonna lie. I just said the workshop was near his campsite on the eastern ridge. I want to live my life explaining to everybody, in very eccentric ways, how heroic I am and the perilous adventures I've been on. <laughs> I hate them and like them at the same time. Um, all right, so we are now off 500 foot deals away uh, to that man's camp. So that we could possibly locate uh, this workshop. And apparently we're going to have a climb. So I'll meet you guys up at the workshop. That guy's not a goose. All right, Rocket Nation. We are back. And unfortunately, this is a pretty perilous climb. Nobody ever said I would be getting attacked by Glint Hawks while making it. But this is what is happening. Um... <laughs> We're just going to attempt to run from him. We'll be fine. Nothing wrong is going to happen here. This will be completely okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is going to go bad, isn't it? Let's climb. Oh, my goodness. I Okay. I, part of me wishes I had actually stopped to fight these things now. I didn't realize they were going to... Come this far after me? Here's the scrounger's campsite, so the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the avalanche. Wow. That was insane. All right. So we've made it up here. This is the uh, the scrounger's camp. Let's see if we can't climb our way up. <laughs> I had just gotten started on the climb, and then they started to attack, and I was like, you know what? We're just going with it. <laughs> At this point, if we have to go through this much to get to this uh, workshop, is anybody else really going to make it? Slow-mo. Oh. What? Did you have to get fancy with it twice in a row? Um... I'm guessing that we're, yeah, I'm guessing we're going back this way. Whoa, that didn't feel like I was going to make that jump. Oh, man, that was one heck of a, uh oh, I hear something. Really? 
Uh oh, spotted. Okay, we've been spotted. That did not take long. Um, let's do one of these. No, take your time. Um, where's my electrical arrows? I don't think I have that bow on. We're going to have to put that bow on right now. Um, <laughs> where's the, where's the, the bow for it? I didn't know I was going to be facing off against these. Um, this will go here in this spot, right? And then, uh, well, no, um, <laughs> what are we doing again? Uh, let's put the, I kind of, okay. I don't think we need to tear anything off. I think it's just going to be those. What? Wait, why are you curving away? I <laughs> dropped it. Now that's going to blow. There we go. Oh, that destroyed the other one. Nice. Oh, those are definitely, that's definitely the way to take those out. Just shoot one of the little canisters on its back and it's pretty much a wrap. Okay. Very nice. Um, there's more. That's a bellow back. Oh, they didn't make this easy on us, did they? <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab some more of these up. Um, some more of these. So now these ones, that's a freeze bellow back. It has a freeze canister. You shoot it with freeze and it does freezing things. Freeze arrows will trigger an explosion, freezing everything in the area. Ooh, okay. It's gullet. So let's get up here and uh, make sure we have plenty of these. Those arrows aren't exactly going where they're supposed to be. Those are doing absolutely nothing. It's off. Shoot it in the gullet. Down it goes. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like that we were lied to. Basically, it's what I'm picking up uh, is that we were lied to by the man. Yeah, come, come, come. These are red eye watchers. Stronger than your average watcher. That's it. Silent strike. Come, 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 come. Get him. And I will put you down. Get her loot on. So yeah, that said that you shoot this canister, the back thing on their back. Oh, that was a bellow back heart too. It said that you shoot the uh, thing on their back with a freeze arrow and it would cause a freeze explosion. That is not what caused the freeze explosion. We put like 12 of them. Stormbird here. If I find any and destroy them, the machine should leave. Oh no. Oh no. All right. So I believe for this one, the best way to go about this is going to be uh, the rope caster, right? Uh, I believe we're going to need this. Let's put that there. We aren't going to have to deal with anything on the ground, I don't think. So uh, we're just going to get as close as we possibly can here. Let's do double dive roll, triple dive roll right into this. Storm Lord. Well, it's worth 
the shot. What? We can override one? Oh no. Oh, there we got it. What happened? What the heck? I just fell into a cave. Why would you put a cave there? We had it. Oh no. Oh no. Where is it now? There it is. All right, that was terrifying. Um, also, we are going to need our other bow too, uh, our sharpshooter bow to, to tear some stuff off. Uh, we'll put that in the upward spot. Okay, it just completely missed. And that one just went in its own place. Oh my goodness. I did. <laughs> I have words. I have words. Come get some. I can't see straight up. Why do these things always go straight up above me? Well, that did, almost didn't seem fair, did it? Now I think that there is, yeah, right there's a blaze canister. Now run. All right, we gotta get that other blaze canister. There it is. Run! She's gonna blow! Gotta switch with No! Okay. Oh no. Another one. It's holding. All right, where else can we shoot this thing? in the ground for me. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Terrifying and awesome all at the same time. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a lure. Plenty of lures around here. Um disable it by hitting it with something or sit on it. That's another option. 
We could always sit on it. Um, watch out! There's a big old, big old canyon there that you're gonna fall into. Another one around the side over here. That storm bird seemed harder than the other ones. And the final one right here. Done. No more lures. Now about this workshop. All right. What is it about this place? Parchment Inc. Many pages are filled with erratic handwriting. I'll just stand on it. So Durval was behind these lures. Oh! <gasps> Brilliant and dangerous. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliffe. No way. So it was Durval that... Oh, this is Durval's workshop. No way. Okay. So even though he's locked up, he's still still bringing havoc down on the innocent people. Um. Wow, Durval. You got to admit, he was no dummy. That's for sure. What did you climb over? All right. Let's go and head back down to... Uh, to pitch cliff and i will meet you guys there and we'll go deliver the news to uh Rallert. see you guys in just a second all right rocket nation we have made our way back to pitch cliff let's go and talk to Rallert right now let him know the good news there will be no more glint hawk attacks also uh i may have almost been killed by a storm bird so i believe i deserve a bonus All right, let's climb up this very inconspicuous ladder right here. You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand. As my brother would have. <laughs> On behalf of Pitchcliff and my family, I thank you. Please don't spit in your hand and shake mine. Um, all right, there it is. So we've done it. Another side quest completed, which means more than likely I haven't seen any other side quests left out there. So that means next uh, episode, we are going to be moving back to the main quest, which is going to be Maker's End, which is the only quest I think that we have left, right? Let's go ahead and take a look through. We, I did find a new corruption zone on the way up here as well. That'll have to be done. Got some tutorial missions. I'll probably finish those on my own time. Um, but for this episode, uh, that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it the old thumbs up. Share it on your favorite social media platform so that others might enjoy as well. And if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you guys got to do is be subbed to the channel, click the little bell notification icon deal thing, and YouTube will take care of the rest. Thank you guys so much. And as always, remember, life is short, pause save, and I will see you in the next episode.